Hey, what's up? This is Jeff, aka Gaming Goods, and this is going to be episode 48 of my Darksiders Let's Play series. And if you look at our character, we look freaking badass. And that is because we now have our Abyssal Armor. Yes, we do. Freaking amazing. Oh. Uh, damn, does that look sweet. Hell yeah, and we got our awesome freaking sword. Dude, we look so badass, it's unbelievable. Oh, it's awesome. I'm so glad. See, I like, I don't know, I didn't I didn't want to spend too much time on the series, but I'm a huge completionist. Sometimes I don't even finish games because I spend so much time on side quests and collectibles and stuff that I just, I don't know, I never end up finishing the game. So, I've been trying to balance that in Getting the armor was the most important thing as far as collectibles for me. Now if I can get all the artifacts, that's nice. I hope I do, but I'm not going to really push it. Because we're already on episode 48, I mean. We've spent a lot of time on this game. I haven't heard any artifacts in this general vicinity. But we only need two more. If there's two in Eden, that would be amazing. But I doubt there is. We missed these two. Which I might go back and get if I get a chance to. Um, I don't know if I'll do that on uh, camera or not, if I record that or not, but I would like to do it. There's a chest right there, too. Did you hear that? I don't know. I thought I heard an artifact. What's up with that? It looks like you can get up there. We'll have to check that out. I just want to check things out real quick without my vision on. Yeah, see, if it wasn't... Man. If it wasn't for me recording, I would probably have way more hours into this game, searching every little nook and cranny, but I need to learn not to do that so much because, like I said, I end up spending so much time in games that sometimes I don't finish them. Like in Skyrim, I put like 250 hours into Skyrim just on side quests, and I, I, didn't, I only got up to the part where I had to go, like, I was told I had to collect the Elder Scroll. I never actually went and collected it. Um, oh no, the dragon thing. The the shout to bring the dragon down out of the air. I never got that. So that's how far in the main storyline I got. With 250 hours of play. Okay, so if we're going to get up there, it's going to be from the top. Looks like the mask has a cooldown. Hear that? Uh, I guess it's just the ambient music, but it did sound like an artifact, didn't it? So we have this awesome ass armor now. I wonder how power like I wonder how much more protection it offers us. Cause, I mean it looks badass. Oh man. We look like freaking we look scary as shit, though. We look like a freaking demon, man. I mean, we just killed our darker self, though. We just killed our naughty self. Okay, there's definitely... I was gonna say, you could definitely get down here. Is this what I saw? 
No, this isn't... I don't know if this is what I saw from there before or not. Ah, there's a chest here. Wrath Shard. I was hoping it would be an artifact, but... No bueno. Let me check without my vision. Because I don't know if some things show up without... I mean, without my vision that... Don't with it. Yeah, I don't know how that works. We're going to have to climb back uh, up the ramp. Alright, well that's good. I mean... I got another Wrath Shard. Got a lot of health. Got a lot of Wrath. We have a lot of souls that we didn't spend. Yeah. Not cool. I'm hoping we get a chance to spend those before the final boss. That would really suck if we don't. Oh, there's got to be a fight coming up here somewhere. This looks dangerous. So that's the tree, huh? Was it, do you say that's a tree of life? That is so cool. Man, they did a good job on this area here. This is awesome looking, man. They did a hell of a job on this zone. As far as this building here, and the statues, they did a damn good job. What is up with that? I can't get back behind any of these, can I? Oh, I did do a good job. Level designer did... Yeah, good job, man. And the modeler. Would you serve in heaven, or rule in hell? The storm is coming, Uriel. Soon, I will need you at my side. I would follow you into hell, my lord. They knew. How did they? <laughs> the best laid plans, or so the humans used to say. Did this? You plotted and schemed to call us to this world. I simply took advantage of your initiative. No. I will consider this an offering, Abaddon. And you, my loyal servant, join me and take up the mantle of the Destroyer. No. Once the throne learns what you've done, you'll be cast down, dragged in chains before the council. You're already damned. So I offer you this choice. Would you serve in heaven or rule in hell? Now, return to Azrael. Persuade him to help us. Then, together. We will change the face of the universe. <laughs> Abaddon must be punished. He bends the law to his will, laughs in the face of the council. What proof do we have? The seals are intact. No doubt the angel had help, but from whom? Until we know, we must wait. His act breeds open defiance. The council weakens. 
How long before we are overthrown? We cannot stop Abaddon, but there are others who might, if they had reason. We dare not send the four. Without proof, there is no justice, only murder. They will see no reason in this assassination. We will send one for whom vengeance is reason enough. The blade is scattered. I guard the seventh seal. This world is ours. Heaven is ours. <laughs> you had to know it was a one-way ticket. Well, that was really unexpected. That was a lot of information to take in, though. So... Wow, that was crazy. So, Abaddon's scheme... was it, That's his name, Abaddon, right? Or is... Yeah, Abaddon. The one with the patch, eye patch thing. His scheme to jump the demons didn't work out because his lieutenant or whatever, the chick freaking screwed him over and switched to the destroyer side and was a snitch and she turned him to the demon side he will okay and the the council sent me down they knew Abaddon was up to something but they couldn't prove it and they couldn't release the four horsemen because it would be crazy, you know, there would be assassination and whatever. So they released me because they know I'm unstable. And, you know, after all, my name is War. Thinking that I would take care of it and they had plans to kill me. I'm not supposed to live through this from what I see from the vision. It's interesting. Alright, so, but now we know. Now we know the deal. So that's the vision of our dead body, I guess, right? What's up with our sword? Oh, is that the hilt of the... I think we gotta put the sword together, don't we? We gotta put, like, this badass sword together. And it's, like, the, how we gotta kill the destroyer, I think. I think I did read that somewhere. We gotta put the... We gotta... Was that just maybe the hilt of the sword? Just a piece of it that we got back from that vision? And then we gotta find the other pieces, maybe, and put it together? I'm not sure what's going on there. Can I actually do anything with this? No, okay, I can't go back there. Alright, so that little son of a bitch... Oh, excuse my language. That damn... Dude that's attached to our arm... Whatever the hell his name is, that the council freaking put us on a leash with, is going to kill us after we do what we came to do. Oh, wait, no, no, oh, wait a minute, no, because they originally sent me to get Abaddon, but it didn't happen like that. The Straga got him instead, or whatever. So then. Ah, uh, okay, I see. So the council originally screwed me over, framed me. It didn't go quite the way they wanted, so I ended up getting killed, coming back to the council and saying I want to prove my innocence, but they already know that I'm innocent, so... But they don't want me to, you know... This is supposed to be a one-way trip. I'm supposed to die from this, so... What's his name's gonna 
supposedly kill me, or try to kill me, which I'm not going to let happen. I don't see any What's up with that water in there? Oh, I can't get in there. Okay. Oh, that was a waste. Some Oh man, I think I hope that don't mess anything up cuz I'm going to be coming down from the wrong area now. Seems like it's still all good. I want to kill that son of a bitch. Him, the Darkling. Well, you're gonna die, buddy. Adam is the destroyer. The Archangel. He was betrayed. He is only a pawn in some greater game. You must bring him peace. Peace. Abaddon is the destroyer. I'm pretty sure peace is off the table. Did you find any clues among the visions? A way to stop him? There was a sword. One which broke the seals. The Armageddon Blade. But... After the seals were broken, Abaddon ordered the blade destroyed on the very anvil of its creation. Horseman... I fear the blade is lost to us now. It will be made again. What else did you see? Abaddon guards the seventh seal. He plots with others to storm the White Gates. Uriel will lead the Hellguard against him and fail. What else did you see? I saw nothing else. <laughs> I'm I will lying. Open the gate to Eternus. Once it is closed, the garden and its secrets will be lost forever. When you are ready, I will begin. So we know, so we didn't tell what's his name, what's going on. The Darkling, we didn't tell him that we know what's up with him trying to kill us in the council. I hope I got everything here because he said I'm not going to be able to come back, so. I really hope I got everything. I want to get all the seals, damn it. Not all the seals, all the, um, artifacts. Just need two more, damn it. Two more artifacts. Ah, oh, my damn phones are just driving me nuts, man. I wonder if I should look it up real quick on my phone. Uh, I hate to do this, guys, but I can't. Um, I can't leave this area without knowing, because I won't be able to come back here. He already told me that. So hopefully, this will only take a second. Come on. See, Dark Cider Eden Eden, um, artifacts, Eden artifacts. Uh, Eden chest and collectible, seven chests. Okay, so there's, um, there's chests, okay, uh, so apparently there's no artifacts, 
in this zone. Chest, armor piece, abyssal armor piece, chest, yes. Wrath shard. Okay, so the artifacts that we missed are in the other zones. They're not here. So we can, um, if there's a chance in the game to go back to them, we can do that. I don't know if we'll get a chance, though. I hope we get to see, what's his name, though? Volgrim. I get a lot of money we can spend. Seek Ulthane. He will help you. He must help you. Abaddon will have scattered the sword's remains, hidden them where none that walk in the light could find them. The Shadow Realm. Yes. Use the Mask of Shadows. Assemble the Broken Blade. Then, return it to the Forge of the Black Hammer. When this is done, return to me. Perhaps I can serve you one last time before the end. Azrael, at any time you could have left me to my fate, dead in the tower, lost among the ashes of Eden. Why do you help me now? When this is over, the Council will see that justice is done. I will kill Abaddon, and all who schemed with him. We all must answer for our sins, Horseman. When the hour of my judgment comes, I will embrace it. Whatever the light decides. Go. Waste no more time on me. And tell Ulthane. He is the last hope of an old fool. The blade was scattered over this ruined world. Find the pieces. Forge them at the hand of the Black Hammer. Then return. Find seven pieces of Armageddon Blade. Alright guys, I think I might, um... I think I might end the episode early and end it here. Um, well, I'll move up to the here a little bit. View the Chronicle and the Locations of Armageddon Blade. Oh, so you can view. Okay. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and save because it's Easter. Easter Sunday. And uh, we have family coming over very soon. And I need to get a shower. So I am going to save. And this is going to be a little bit shorter of an episode. It's only 23 minutes long, um, so I'm sorry about that, but um, I don't really have time to do a full 30 minute episode, and uh, yeah, so thank you guys very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. If you like the video, please do hit the like button, and maybe make put a comment on the video or something. I like when people comment on the videos, it lets me know that they actually watch them, you know, so... I don't know. I do like to make videos just to make videos, but I also like people to watch them. So, anyway, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next episode.